Greetings, friends. It's me, Al. And uh, as I said before on, on the channel, we were building a kayak. And uh, this is my uh, my cousin, Jesse, here. He helped me construct everything. So we just got done with a test run, and we liked what we've seen. And uh, here's the boat here. We wrapped it in um, plastic for now to try to get a feel of where it was. And I'll, I'll post pictures at the end of this video on it. So. What we did is, uh, I'll, I'll let Jesse talk about what we did, and then um, after we get this unwrapped. So we're going to unwrap it real quick, and then uh, we'll go through the construction of it in case you all are interested in uh, what we did here. So, okay, so we're uh, back, right back, and uh, actually I forgot to tell you before, Austin here um, was our assistant, and he, he was the first to try out the boat. He paddled it around a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. It didn't tip, and his brother Thomas... Say hi to everybody, Thomas. Hi. So, so Jesse's going to tell us um, a little bit about what we did on this and how we constructed it. All right. First thing we started with the top part of the frame. We used uh, three-quarter piping and half-inch piping for the to tie in the frame. Uh, we just took a regular hole saw, drilled holes, cut our pipes to our lengths. Uh, we got our basically figured out how wide we wanted it and we started and worked our way down and uh, We just drilled holes put our piping in Where it should be we put pipes every foot for good stability and, uh, Then We did our uh, chine or not our chines our ribs um, We figured out our depth and our width we wanted for the bottom and to get our bends for this, we heated them up using a candle. You can use other whatever you need. Um, and just basically bent them to whatever angle we needed. Once they cool, they harden solid. Um, so then we took three quarter pipe, run it in the, to give our shape and stability, hold everything in place. Then we have our uh, quarter inch PVC piping for our chines on the side. We're actually going to add another one on each side here to give it more stability. And uh, this gives us our more uniform bottom so it's more stable. And uh, we use twist ties or zip ties to tie everything in so it's solid and it's a pretty solid yeah. frame. Yeah, so like the zip ties were a pretty good idea, um, mainly because we could replace parts as we needed them if, if we realized we messed up. So so now that like we, we got the idea down, we plan on maybe building a couple more and customizing the ones that we're going to build later. But um, so all we got left to do now, I think, is the, uh, is the uh, combing around the seat, and then we need to figure out where that's going to go and then figure out how to put in a maybe a little pocket in the back so that's what we're working on so all we have left to do is put in the two combings on the side and um, putting a canvas on now the canvas we didn't talk that about that um, we're going to use a uh, cotton canvas just because it's cheaper like we, we want a low cost lightweight and waterproof so as long as the thing floated and it wasn't a big problem like we figured we'd do it so we seen the stretch kayaks from the Greenland stretch kayaks, which gave us the idea. So we got the 10 ounce Blue Hawk um, uh, drop, cloth. drop cloth, yeah, and uh, that worked out really well because the 10 ounce like really heavy, and we got some interior exterior um, oil based paint that we're gonna put on us. Now the guys who do this like all the time, they use the uh, polyurethane uh, satin. Um, stain varnish kind of stuff you put on it it'll, it'll like in the end it looks almost like an animal skin over it and a little bit translucent which is kind of nice but we just decided to go with paint because the, the varnish was a little bit expensive and i had a mishap you got to stir that stuff really well so but we won't talk about that so overall the test went pretty good and uh, i'll post pictures on the end so jesse was my main uh, construction guy here because I, I don't know how to draw a straight line and <laughs> He was kind of helping me along the way with major difficulties, and the power tools. <laughs> and, and the beer. So and the beer. we we got about a hundred bucks into it, 
we already got the the canvas and everything so 100 bucks including the beer which ain't bad because we we drank a lot and some places you can tell but we're not going to show you those <laughs> so all right we're going to take off you want to say bye kids bye bye all right so take care and uh happy camping